so I've just been out today and got myself a Magic the Gathering Deck Builders Toolkit and what I'm hoping to do is over a series of videos break this box down um, show you what's in it show you um, how certain bits of it might be relevant to certain areas obviously the box is, is aimed at, at beginners um, and I think this is quite a good opportunity to maybe compare a product like this with other possibilities for starting up magic um, uh, because it, what tends to happen with any card collecting system is if you're not careful you end up sort of spending a lot of money to get set up and then it turns out maybe you've got hold of the wrong cards or you haven't gone down the right route so it might be interesting to show you depending on what's in this box where you might be tripped up later on as various other um, core sets and expansion sets are released depending on how you want to use the product um, so hopefully I'll, I'm going to be able to sort of show you um, you know how, how that's affected by what's in this box um, just show you some of the artwork um, on the back of the box it sort of explains really what's inside um, one of the useful things here is this 100 basic lands so that's going to be um, 20 lands hopefully I should imagine that's how they've done it of each mana type um, and if you're not familiar with magic at all and you know, this is the first product you've, you've been out to buy then basically the, the mana type if you like is the, the fuel for your deck or your decks um, so what this does is by giving you 20 cards of each of the five types of colors of mana um, you're going to you know, basically be able to use this to build any deck and it, it provides a good basis for um, you know, then purchasing other cards, and you've you've already got the the, the basic lands there to help you. Um, there's also booster packs in this, um, which is obviously one of the random elements. Um, there's also 125 semi-randomised cards. Um, I've looked into this a little bit, and from what I can determine, a certain percentage of these cards are the same in every pack, and then the remaining percentage are randomised. Um, but when we open the box, it'll probably become clear what particular bit is, is the randomised component based by how the, the cards are packed up. Um, so what I'm going to do now is is open up this box. Oh, and you get a nice <laughs> a card storage box as well. Um, so let's do this. Something very satisfying about the sound you get from opening. So here is our box. Obviously, because we're going to be using it to store, hopefully, future cards we're going to buy. Um, there's a spacer in here. We have our um, four packs of uh, cards, which I'll show you in a moment. I'll lay this all out. And that's that. Uh, more stuff. Uh, okay, so we've got a couple of. Uh, instruction leaflets here um, basically this one oh that one looks like it's for deck advice and this is oh, how to play so if you bought any more if you bought any other sort of magic box products um, 
you know, like intro packs or um, what are those sort of fat packs, um, you probably have seen similar things. So it's just so here's what we have. Let's pull this back a bit. There we go. Okay, so we have our um, four booster packs here. And uh, this is interesting because I've already seen unboxings of these before and it looks like we're pretty much everything I've seen so far is the same as I see here. So we've got a Conflux deck, a um, Corset deck, um, order, Zendikar and Whirlwake. Um, if you are a complete beginner and you're watching this you may not understand some of the things I'm going on about rotating out and standard and things like that but as I explain um, later in some of the other videos you'll hopefully you'll get the gist of how this all hangs together um, the reason why I bring it up now is because um, obviously as sets are released if you are playing um, a type of magic which which is referred to as standard um, then obviously there's a limited card pool you can draw from and, and that changes over time and I believe in October of this year 2010 um, obviously certain sets are going to rotate out and new ones are going to start being released and come in so you know, in these terms of these booster packs um, from from my knowledge um, Conflux and the core set will rotate out and Zendikar World Weight will stay in and there's also another set of this block um, Rise of Eldrazi um, will re remain, they'll remain and then there'll be a new core set which will be 2011 and then after that um, then they'll start releasing the expansion sets and then you go through the process again uh, the next year, but that only applies if you're, you know, you're, you're constructing decks to enter into certain types of competitions, or so, yeah, where where, the, where you're you're you know within a certain card pool. Um, but I'll, I'll explain some of that later. So that's those. Um,